get right, church, and let's go home. Oh, get right, church, and let's go home. To 
I have to cry sometime, Lord. Oh, my way home. Sometimes singing with tears oh, in my eyes. I'm counting on you. you Please, Lord. Like you you Friend gets few sometimes. Oh, my way home. How about that? Friend get few sometimes. Oh, my way home. My friend get few oh, sometimes. My way home. Oh, Lord. Mr. Please, Lord. I get mistreated sometimes. Oh, my way home. I get mistreated sometimes. Oh, my way home. I get mistreated sometimes. Oh, my way home. I'm counting on you. Please, Lord. Like you said you would. Fix the Jesus. 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 Y'all don't hear me. Fix the Jesus. Fix my mind. Fix the Jesus. Fix my mind. Fix the Jesus. Fix my heart. Fix the Jesus. And do it for me right now. Fix the Jesus. I know you're able. Fix the Jesus. You got all power. Fix the Jesus. In the palm of your hand. Fix the Jesus. Somebody needs fixing. Somebody need fixing. If you need fixing, let me see you clap your hand. If you need fixing, let's make a joyful noise. Let's make a joyful noise. Hear what I want you to do for me. Go to the hospital. Somebody need you. Somebody lay there. Racking with pain. Fix the Jesus. One touch from you, Lord, Fix the Jesus. will make it all right. Fix the Jesus. Ain't anybody need fixing? Fix Ain't anybody need fixing? Fix the Jesus. Ain't anybody need fixing? Fix the Jesus. If you need fixing, Fix let me see you clap your hands. Fix the Jesus. Fix the Jesus. Fix the Jesus. If you ever been home with Fix the Jesus Then fix it Have you ever been lonely Fix the Jesus Then God fix it Fix the Jesus Fix the Jesus Fix the Jesus Let me hear you say yeah Let me hear you say yeah Fix the Jesus I know you are able I know you can. You got all power in the palm of your hand. Somebody need fixing. Somebody need fixing. Help me make a joyful noise. Help me make a joyful noise. Help me make a joyful noise. If you never hear a say no more, we just want y'all to remember. My, 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 God can fix it. Fix the Jesus. Fix the Jesus. Fix the Jesus. Have you ever been sick? Fix the Jesus. Think God fix it. Fix the Jesus. Have you ever been lonely? Fix the Jesus. Think God fix it. Fix the Jesus. Fix the Jesus. I know that you're able. I know that you're able. Fix the Jesus. Fix the Jesus. Fix the Jesus. On my way home. On my way home. How about that? On my way home. Lord. On my way home. On my way home. On my way home. Oh, Lord. Please, Lord. Like you say. You make me happy, you make me whole, you 
take the pain away. I'm so in love with you. You make me happy. You make me whole. You take the pain away. I'm so in love with you. Singing again, say, and you make me whole. You take the pain away. I'm so in love. And everything, it covers all of my wrong. Your love said, everything about you. And you make me whole. You take. I'm so in love. And everything. It covers all of my wrong. Your life saved my life. Everything about you. Hey, if it weren't for 
Sing the song. Your life saved my life. Hey, hey. Your life saved. Your life saved my life. Hey, just think on the goodness of Jesus and all he's Your done. Life saved my life. Everything he's doing today, everything he's going to do tomorrow. Your life. Your life saved my life. Hey, hey. Your life. Your life saved my life. Hey. Your life saved my life. Hey. Y'all give God a hand praise. Give me a hand praise. The song says, your life saved my life. It wasn't my mother's life that saved my life. It was not my daddy's life that saved my life. None of my relatives' life saved my life. But it was your life, the one that you gave. Out on a hill called, y'all don't hear me, Calvary, you gave your life. And because you gave your life, I picked up my life. And I live, and I'm grateful. And because I live, I give. I say I live, and I give. It's giving time now. I say it's giving. Mama used to sing a song, you can't beat God's giving no matter how hard you try. The more you give, the more he'll give unto you. Just keep on giving because it's really true. You can't beat God. Cora, you remember that song? No matter how hard at this time, pass across. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you, Pastor Blood. Uh, I just wanted to uh, stand to reiterate uh, what our pastor has asked concerning our intercessory prayer on the 27th, that is this coming Wednesday. Uh, the pastor's asked that 30 members be here uh, at 6.30 p.m. Uh, now, I look around the room, it's more than 30 people here now. Uh, and if there's ever a meeting in the church that's important, it's the prayer meeting. Uh, some people think the most important meeting in church is business meeting. Some might think it's deacon's meeting. Uh, but the most important meeting is the prayer meeting. <laughs> and uh, the reason that uh, I feel compelled to support the pastor and push this is because if God put it on the pastor's heart to call for a certain amount of people to be at the prayer meeting, uh, I want to be here just to see what God's got going on Wednesday at 6.30. So uh, I hope I'm not overstepping my boundaries, but uh, members, if you, if you know members who hadn't been around in a while, call them. Deacons, look at your care list. Let's call folks. Let's let's encourage folks to come on out to the prayer meeting. Listen, don't don't sit back and and wait till Thursday to see what happens. <laughs> you need to be here Wednesday at six thirty for the prayer meeting. I, I don't know what God got up his sleeve, 
But if he put it on the pastor's heart for 30 of us to be here, then you're all included in the number. We're not going to have someone standing at the door with a clicker. And once we make 30, then then we're good. No, everybody should come. (laughs) So just, just, like I said, just supporting the pastor's vision for us to be here on Wednesday night. Listen, let's 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 reach out to our members. Let's reach and young people. Like, and, and thank God for the Holy Spirit. Listen, preteens, teenagers, and youth, you are not excluded from the prayer meeting. <laughs> because if we don't teach our young people to pray and include them in the prayer meeting, they'll continue on and become young adults, and prayer won't be that important to them. So, teenagers, preteens, young people, prayer meeting, and y'all can't, y'all don't have cars, so uh, it's not totally your responsibility to get here. So, adults, let's bring the young people out also. Six thirty Wednesday night for our intercessory prayer. God bless. Right now, right now, right now, right now, right now. So we're gonna do something different this morning. Can we take you back home? Take you back, Reverend. I'm talking about before there was air conditioning. Before there was a piano or a organ. Before there was even a drum set. All we had was our hands and our feet. Can we take y'all home? Yeah. Yeah. I, they ain't saying that, just looking. Can we take y'all home? All right. Come on, everybody stand with us. We're going home. Can we go home? Just give me a beat. Just stump your feet. Stop your hands. Over here, yeah. Come on, something to feel a little hard. We had them wood flows. We didn't have no carpet. Mm-hmm. Y'all ready, choir? Can't you feel God moving by His Spirit and His moving every every. I know the Lord is mending the broken and the Lord is here to make you whole. Y'all like that? Come on. Do you feel the Lord? Hold on. Oh, I can feel it moving by here. Yes, and it's good to know that he is loosen every, every, yeah. I know the Lord is the broken and the Lord is here to make you whole. Come on, say that one more time, one more time. I know the Lord is moving. Yeah. Oh, I can feel it moving by here. Yes, and it's good to know that he is moving. Every change. I know the Lord is. Yeah. The broken And the Lord is here. To make you whole. 
Can I say it like I'm sanctified? Ho, 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 ho. Ho, ho, ho. you go home. Those of you that, if you will, if you don't mind standing with me, Roman, this eighth chapter of Roman. And I, I want to, I know somebody think I'm going to verse number 28, but I'm not going to 28. 28 going to stay there. If I don't touch it, it's going to remain right there. I'm going to bypass 28 right now and go to verse number 29. Roman 8 and verse number 29. Uh -huh. if, you, if you have it, let it be known by saying amen. amen. For whom he did foreknow, he also did predestine All right. to become, to be conformed to the image of his son, uh -huh. that he might be the first 
born among many brethren. Uh -huh. Moreover, whom he did predestinate, them he also called. And whom he called, them he also justified. Uh -huh. And whom he justified, them he also glorified. All right, all right. Verse 31 says, what shall we say then uh, to these things? Uh -huh. If God be for us, who can be against us? Right. I want to talk, this, uh, I want to talk from, I, not for, I'll use for a subject, from foreknowledge unto glorification. From foreknowledge unto glorification. From the foreknowledge of God until the glorification of mankind. Let us all say amen. amen. Let us say amen again. Amen. I, I need you to know one thing. Listen, God, uh, we've been on God's mind for a long time. All right. And I, I'll come to serve notice on you. Uh, just when you went down in the water a few days ago, that was not the beginning of your salvation. Uh, no, no. According to the word of God, from the full knowledge of God, somebody said, how long would that be? I don't know. I wasn't there. But scripture said, and verse number 29, for whom he did foreknow. Uh, and then he talks about, amen, in verse number 30, the last word, he also glorified. So now from the foreknowledge of God until the glorification of God's saint, everything in between, all of the enemies, in between the full knowledge of God and the glorification of God, saints, amen, they are powerless to you and I. And the reason why they are powerless to you and I is because, as I said a minute ago, listen, you didn't just get saved. If God predestined us, that says to me that he knew from the get-go, he knew from the beginning, who was going to accept his salvation and who was going to reject it? Am I making any sense? So Paul said, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Behold, all things have passed away and all things have become new. So I, I, I want to submit to you, amen, you have been saved for every sister for knowledge of God. Uh -huh. Now watch this right here. The Bible said, listen, in verse number 30, that, listen, he called us. He called us by his gospel. Did not he, that we have been called by the gospel of Jesus Christ. Then it said that uh, those of that were called by his gospel, we were justified. Uh, or the word, we were declared righteous yeah, by God. Y'all hear what I'm saying? Makes no difference what folks say about us. We are declared righteous in the sight of God. Watch this now. And then it says in verse number 30, uh, them he called, them he also glorified. Now watch this here. The call is, is in the past here. <laughs> the justified justification is in the past tense. But then the glorification period is still in the future. So somebody said, well, why did he put just the glorified in the past? And that the glorification period have not arrived, and it have not arrived. Well, let me submit to you. Paul was so assured of God's word. <laughs> Have you ever heard about having it before you get it? Yeah. All right. All right. You hear what I'm saying? Paul 
Paul said, now listen, uh, we have been called, we have been justified, and even though the glorification period have not made his arrival, we have been glorified by God. And if you and I have been glorified, we've been called, we've been justified and glorified, and God predestined us from the foundation of the world, we didn't just get saved the other day. We've been saved. Ever since the foreknowledge of God. But Paul said in verse number 31, says, then what shall we then say to these things? All right. If God be for us, who can be against us? Listen. I submit to you this evening, this morning, that listen, nothing out there is able to separate us from the love of God. Do y'all hear what I'm saying? Because we have been saved by God's grace. Can I get a witness? And I, and I want to say to you, listen, you and I cannot lose. Those of us who are in Christ Jesus, Paul said in verse number 31, is that what shall we then say to these things? In other words, what shall we say to being predestined? What shall we say to being called by the gospel? What shall we say, amen, to being justified by God? What shall we say to being glorified by God? Paul said, what shall we say to all of these things? And then he went on to say, listen, who can be against us? So that suggests to me, as long as I'm in Christ, listen, I cannot lose. The secular blues writer said, I cannot lose. Y'all never heard this. With the stuff that I use. Lena didn't heard that before. But now listen, you and I, those of us who are in Christ, if we've been predestined by God, I, I know this right here is not the shouting sermon here. If we've been called by God, if we've been justified God, by God, if we've been glorified by God before the glorification period, who can be against us? There's no way that you and I can lose. We cannot lose with the Lord on our side. Can I get a witness? If we are in Christ, there's no way that you and I can lose. And, and I understand that sometime in life, watch this now, it looked like things are falling apart. I said it looked like things are falling apart. But just because, I said, I submit to you because we have been predestinated by God. We have been called by God. We have been justified by God. We have been glorified by God. Those things what, which look like they are falling apart is really not falling apart. Sometimes they're coming together. <laughs> you just don't see it. But they're coming together. Watch, let me make it real simple. Let me put, let me put it on tape. You remember you had good insurance on your house. And your house, you was able to sit in your house and see the ground. Your house, amen, when wintertime came, wind was coming all through the cracks in your house. But a couple of months ago, a fire came and destroyed your house. And it looked like everything was falling apart. But because you had good insurance, because you had good insurance, your insurance stepped in and built you a good house, and now you are able to look at the floor and not see the ground. See, at one time it looked like it was falling apart, but at the same time it was really coming together. Am I making an assistant here? Uh, if you want a good crop next year, something got to die this year. 
I say, if you want a good corn crop next year, some corn got to die this year. Because if it don't die, you can't plant it. If you can't plant it, it won't come up. Jesus, <laughs> right. oh, shucks, y'all. And when it come up, uh -huh. there's more. Listen, you plant two grain, uh -huh. one stalk, <laughs> three years, yeah. uh, 3,000 grains right. to a year. Y'all hear what I'm saying? Listen, Jesus Christ himself. He had to die. All right. He had to be planted All right. in the ground. And God had to raise him up yeah. for you and I to be raised up. All right. All right. So if Paul said, if any man be in Christ, we are new creatures. Behold, all things have passed away. Uh -huh. and, and behold, all things are made new. Listen, I want you to know that new part of Arthur Blood. That old part of Arthur Blood might be in trouble. But the new part of Arthur Blood, I can't lose. The old part of Arthur Blood, eyes are bad. The old part of Arthur Blood, hair in a turn gray. Y'all hear what I'm saying? The old part of Arthur Blood, knees hurt every now and then. But the new part of Arthur Blood, the new part of Arthur Blood, I said, somebody don't know where the new part is. Well, let me separate. Let me separate the old from the new then. Just in case somebody confused. The old part of Arthur Blood. When I lay this body down, yeah. the old part of Arthur Blood <laughs> is going in the ground. <laughs> but the new part of Arthur Blood, when I lay this body down, going to go and be with the Lord. So I can't lose as long as I'm in Jesus Christ. There is no way um, that I can lose. Listen, Jesus himself works things together for our good. Y'all hear what I'm you, you Listen, you, you crying and you hate it happened to you. Listen, don't hate it so quick. The Lord, watch this right here. The Lord take the bad. The Lord take the good. And then he said, by all the blood, they might not believe you. But back up to verse number 28. For all things work together for the good of them that love God, who are called according to his purpose. So tell them all the blood that I take the good. I take the bad. And when I mix the bad and the good together, if I mix it, the good do away with the bad. But if you mix it, the bad but overtake the good. Um, shucks, y'all. I can't lose as long as I'm in Jesus Christ. Listen, when it comes to salvation, in this salvation arena, I'm not, listen, I'm not brand new in this thing. Uh -huh. I'm old. <laughs> I said, I'm old. I, I, I've been around. Uh -huh. I, I've been saved. Yeah. Every sister, full knowledge of God. Uh -huh. Because according to scripture, he predestined me. Yeah. Let me put it a little bit simpler. In other words, God knew from the beginning who was going to accept yeah. salvation. He knew. He's already know who was going to accept salvation. Y'all hear what I'm saying? All that we had to do, listen, God, hey, listen, and, and back it up again. Watch this here. Watch this here. God said, now some of y'all running around here talking about y'all found me. God told me to tell you, he said, listen, while you were yet sinner, All right. he said, I died yeah. that you might have life. Yes, Other words, you didn't choose me. I chose you yeah. out of sin and shame. Yeah. Wow. And if God chose me, uh -huh. I can't lose. Okay. 
Y'all hear what I'm saying? Now, let me just say, when I say I can't lose, I didn't say I could not get sick. I didn't say I could not get burdened down. But I said I can't lose as long as I got Lord on my side. Because that part of me, see, there is a part of me that strikes out. Who don't strike out because Jesus is the master. There's another part of me that knocks a whole run. And that's the part that belongs to the Lord. He said that I am a raw priesthood. He said that I am a Chosen generation. He said that I am the best that he had. Can I get a witness? And I'm kind of like the secular songwriter. I can't lose with the Lord on my side. Can I get a witness? Paul said, what then shall we say to these things? If God is right there in the text, if the Lord will be with me, who can be against me? Tribulations can't destroy me. Persecution can't destroy me. Hard aches and pain can't destroy me. Press can't destroy me. Death can't destroy me. Height can't destroy me. Nothing shall be able to separate me from the love of God. I can't lose, y'all. Watch this right here. Somebody, let me say this here. Somebody in here, somebody in here, listen to me. Somebody been abused. Somebody in here been misused. Uh -huh. And you think it's all over. And the devil trying to paint the picture to you. That life is all over. That there's no more. That, listen, you might as well throw it in the towel. But just because you've been abused. Yeah. Just because you've been misused. Yeah, yeah. It's not to say that you are being defeated. A lot of folks have been misused. Uh -huh. A lot of folks have been abused. Yes, but listen, if you belong to the Lord, All right. when we being abused, uh -huh. it's somewhat like driving a, a car down a, a rough road. Uh -huh. <laughs> if you don't have Jesus uh -huh. and you're going down a rough road, yes, Every bump in the road, yeah. you'll feel it. Yes, but if you got Jesus, uh -huh. it's somewhat like you have took your car uh -huh. to the auto part, to the, to the uh, car shop, uh -huh. and they have jacked it up <laughs> and put on you some brand new <laughs> shock absorbers. Uh -huh. And then you can ride down a rough road <laughs> and drink coffee. Because the shock, y'all don't hear me, yeah. absorb yeah. the rough bumps. Yes, and that's on the vein that I'm trying to tell you. If you belong to the Lord, yes, while you were being misused, and while you were being abused, ain't you glad? I say, ain't you glad that God stepped in? And every bump that they've caused you to go over, God, he absorbed all of the bumps, y'all. Can I get a witness? And as long as you're in Christ, you got to know that you can't lose. All right. Yes, sir. 
as long as you are in the Lord. Paul told me, this says, Paul said, blood, just before you get ready to, to make your exit, Paul said, remind them that I left it on record in 2 Corinthians 12 chapter long about the ninth verse. When Paul said that, I was, because I preached the gospel, because I stood on the corner with the Lord, because I stood in favor of God's word, because I stood when everybody else ran away, Paul said I was caught, and they beat me up, and they left me for dead. But Paul told me to tell y'all, it looked like they thought they had killed me. But Paul said, while I was there, they thought I was dead. Paul said, I got a chance to look into heaven. Not the first heaven, not the second heaven. But Paul said, I saw all the way into the third heaven. Right there where God is. And when I saw all of those things, and when God got me down, when God pulled me down from there, God said, now listen, Paul, you saw so much. If, you, if I don't do something to you, you're going to be big-headed. <laughs> and, 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 and Paul, Paul said, blood tell them that God, amen, put a thorn in my side. A messenger of Satan to buffet me. And it aggravated me. Sometimes I felt like that I was losing out. But God stopped by to tell me that, listen, Paul said, I prayed three times. But God, I got through praying. Paul said, tell the church that after I prayed three times, that the Lord stepped up and said, my grace is sufficient. Can I get a witness? Then Paul said, that, listen, for my strength is made perfect in weakness. Therefore, most gladly will I rather boast in my infirmities. So let me tell you one thing. When we are going through, you need to know that you are not being taken out. When you are going through, you need to know that you are not losing. You ought to turn around and boast in your infirmity. Not boast for your infirmities. Not beg for your infirmities. But because of who you are. You're going to have to deal with some infirmities. And since you are in dealing with infirmities, Paul told me to tell you, just go on. Go on, rejoice while you're there. I told the class this morning, we don't need to be like a man that walked off into a pit of quicksand. Man walked off into a pit of quicksand. And when he stepped off in the quicksand, he began to sink. And the record is that you move around in quicksand. The more you move, the deeper you fall. Y'all hear what I'm saying? But it's not like that with a child of God. You can have be, listen, going through some infirmity. But just because you're going through right now, you still ought to rejoice. Can I get a witness? That lie that they told on you, you ought to go on rejoice. Because you would miss you, you still ought to rejoice. Can I get a witness? Oh, don't you know? While you are going through infirmities, if you go and get in quicksand, you move in quicksand, you will sink down deeper. But if you shout while you are going through your infirmities, I say if you praise God while you are going through infirmities, if you hold on while you are going through, the Lord will lift you up out of your infirmities. I say the Lord will. That's what God will do for you. I'm getting ready to sit down now. I need you to know that the best 
is yet to come. I say the best is yet to come. We've been through some things down here. But how many of you all know that whatever you go through down here, it had to pass by God before it got to you. Bible says, eyes have not seen, ears have not heard, nor has it entered into the hearts of man. All of the good things that God has in store for us. So as I make ready to exit here, don't worry about it. You can't lose if you are in Christ Jesus. I said you can't lose. Because one Friday, because one Friday, anybody know what happened on Friday? I say, anybody know what happened one Friday evening out on a hill called Calvary? Anybody know that he didn't have to do it, but they marched him out to a hill called Calvary. They raised him up between heaven and earth. They dropped him, y'all don't hear me, nailed his hand to the cross and dropped the cross in a hole. Oh, can I get a witness? The Bible said he died. Anybody know he died? One Friday evening, but early, early. Sunday morning, if you know he got up, let me hear you say, yeah, he got up with all power. He got up with all power in his hand. Listen, from the foreknowledge of God to the glorification of the saints of God. Everything, every enemy that come upon you and I is powerless. I say every enemy is powerless. Yeah. The one that misuse you, he or she is powerless because they cannot affect that part of you that belong to the Lord. Do you know how, folk, how many folks would go to hell if folks were able to take your salvation away from you? I'll be on my way to hell. And you would too. But because we have been sealed by the Holy Spirit until the day of redemption, listen, we cannot be lost. We are saved. Until the day of redemption. The Holy Spirit entered into us. And that says to me that if, if the Holy Ghost lives on the inside of me, if I go to hell, the Holy Ghost got to go to hell. And the Holy Ghost is not going to hell. Hell is no place for the Holy Spirit. And the Bible said when he entered into us, he entered us, he set up camp in us. They exit no more. There is only one dwelling of the Holy Spirit. But there are many fillings of the Holy Spirit. He entered into us one time. Amen. They exit no more. Listen, I'm done. I'm done. I believe. That if the church can grab hold to the fact that since we have been saved by the blood of Jesus Christ, since we have been called by the gospel, since we have been justified by God, since we're going to be glorified by God, and we can grab hold to that right there, then verse number 31, we can read it and shout about verse number 31. Let us stand all over this building. Stand in the building.
There may be someone here, watch this now, that have not accepted Christ as their Savior. There might be someone here that, that know that they are saved, but they don't have a church home. If you are here, if you can believe that he died and God raised him from the dead, the Bible says, I shall be saved. If you are here and you don't have a church home and you know that you are saved, listen, the day that you hear his voice, he said, hard, not my heart, your heart. If you're here while Lenny last ministered to us through song, will you come? They said I wouldn't make it. They said I wouldn't be here today. They said I'd never amount 